I'm sitting here today with Cyan Bannister of Founders Fund. She's also a personal investor in Niantic, the maker of Pokemon Go. What led you to invest in the company? Well, I started playing Ingress. I don't know if you're familiar, but that I was am. one of their first titles. Yeah. Um, right around the time that it launched. And a group of friends, core group of friends and I are super into it. There's like 10 of us. And um, we go out on these crazy missions. There's people who get like rent boats. There's some members of the team who like have flown all over the world to play this game. Wow. And over the past three years, I've, you know, we go in and out of it, in and out of it, in and out of it, but it has this stickiness that is just incredible. So I started looking into Ingress and I was like, you know, this has lasting power. So I'm wondering like what the company is behind this. So I hmm. went and looked up Niantic as part of Google and I was like, eh, that sucks. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> um, and then one day I had the best message sent to me. Uh, somebody sent me a link about Alphabet and the okay. spin out of Niantic. Right. And I was like, this is my one and only chance to get into this company. So you just jumped on it. I jumped on it. And, um, but I didn't have an in. So I was like, well, one of the things that I'm, I like to pride myself on is like how people are connected and how companies are connected. And that's how I do a lot of my deals. Mm -hmm. And um, so I had an investment in a company called Hint Water. And Hint Water had these caps with these codes on the inside mm -hmm. that gave you special stuff you know, virtual stuff within the Ingress world. Oh, okay. And so I messaged the CEO of that company and I said, how do I get into Ingress, into Niantic? Got it. And um, she made the connection to John Hankey. So with Niantic, obviously, so you, you really liked Ingress. Pokemon Go is a massive, massive hit. Mm -hmm. um, what's your confidence level in them in terms of future uh, I future have high games? confidence in that team. You know, Niantic is, an, they took some of the best engineers from Google with them and they're able to hire some of the best talent. Like John is such an amazing leader and um, his leadership team is great that anytime I send an engineer there, they're just like, I wanna work for that guy. I wanna work for this company. And so, you know, that's what's gonna make you successful is hiring the best and most talented people, you know, closing the best relationships and deals, which they have proven that they can. Mm -hmm. um, they have a healthy pipeline of interest of, you know, um, titles that are interested in building on the platform. So I'm very long on Niantic and I think they're going to be a very valuable and big company. So now you're at Founders Fund. Mm -hmm. Are your co-partners envious of, of your investment? <laughs> I think they mostly just want me to <laughs> shut up about Pokemon okay. um, because it's all I talk about. And I tweeted the other day, I was like, I get one week, one week to talk about Pokemon and then I'll, I'll quiet down. Um, is this your week? This is, I, I think my week is up. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of coworkers that we're on opposite teams. Like I have a coworkers on the red team and I'm on the blue team. Mm. And so we're battling for the, uh, the Yoda fountain outside of our office. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that's probably the extent of it. You know, they're proud. They're, um, I think the timing was just a little bit off. They kind of wish that I joined maybe a little bit sooner. So that they could have had yeah. the investment. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. <laughs>